Hello everyone. Welcome to our new video on understanding Azure Arc. Let's get started. Today, companies struggle to control and govern increasingly complex environments that extend across data centers, multiple clouds, and edge. Each environment and cloud possesses its own set of management tools, and new DevOps and ITOPS operational models can be hard to implement across resources. Azure Arc simplifies governance and management by delivering a consistent multi-cloud and on-premises management platform. Azure Arc provides a centralized, unified way to manage your entire environment together by projecting your existing non-Azure and on-premises resources into Azure Resource Manager. Manage virtual machines, Kubernetes clusters, and databases as if they are running in Azure. Use familiar Azure services and management capabilities, regardless of where they live. Continue using traditional ITOPS while introducing DevOps practices to support new cloud native patterns in your environment. Configure custom locations as an abstraction layer on top of Azure Arc enabled Kubernetes clusters and cluster extensions. Azure Arc is a bridge that extends the Azure platform to help you build applications and services with the flexibility to run across data centers at the edge and in multi cloud environments. Azure Arc runs on both new and existing hardware, virtualization, and Kubernetes platforms, IoT devices, and integrated systems. As you can see in the diagram, you can manage multiple clouds and on premises resources all at one place that is in Azure Resource Manager. In terms of what all resources can be managed, currently, Azure Arc allows you to manage the following resource types hosted outside of Azure. Firstly, servers. You can manage Windows and Linux physical servers and virtual machines hosted outside of Azure. Next is Kubernetes clusters. You can attach and configure Kubernetes clusters running anywhere with multiple supported distributions. Next is Azure Data Services. You can run Azure Data Services on-premises, at the edge, and in public clouds using Kubernetes and the infrastructure of your choice. SQL Managed Instance and PostgreSQL Hyperscale services are currently available. Next is SQL Servers. You can extend Azure services to SQL Server instances hosted outside of Azure. Lastly, you can manage virtual machines. You can provision, resize, delete, and manage virtual machines based on VMware vSphere or Azure Stack HCI and enable VM self-service through role-based access. In terms of benefits and features, some of the key scenarios that Azure Arc supports are as follows. Implement consistent inventory, management, governance, and security for servers across your environment. Configure Azure VM extensions. To use Azure management services, to monitor, secure, and update your servers. Manage and govern Kubernetes clusters at scale. Use GitOps to deploy configuration across one or more clusters from Git repositories. Zero-touch compliance and configuration for Kubernetes clusters using Azure policy. Run Azure data services on any Kubernetes environment as if it runs in Azure. Use elastic scale and apply updates without any application downtime, even without continuous connection to Azure. Create custom locations on top of your Azure Arc-enabled Kubernetes clusters, using them as target locations for deploying Azure services instances. Deploy your Azure service cluster extensions for Azure Arc-enabled data services, app services on Azure Arc, and event grid on Kubernetes. Perform virtual machine lifecycle and management operations for VMware vSphere and Azure Stack HCI environments. A unified experience viewing your Azure Arc-enabled resources, whether you are using the Azure Portal, the Azure CLI, Azure PowerShell, or Azure REST API. I hope the video was useful. Please subscribe to stay on top of all the upcoming videos. If you need copy of this presentation, please email us. Thank you and all the best.